Hi guys, welcome back. It's Crystal and Miranda. Okay, so we're back over here at Creativation 2019. All right, so today it closes in probably about what, an hour and a half now, I think? What time we got now? Okay, we probably about, got about an hour and a half. Miranda forgot her name tag, so she had to go back up into the building. So um, what we're gonna do is kind of walk around and hit up booths and just kind of see. There's a couple, like one right now that I see that I wanna check out and see if they'll let us. Hi guys, hi guys if they'll let us come up and do a live. I wanted to do one at Fiskers, but I noticed that Lori um, Nudermaker's over there, so I think she's gonna do her live, so I don't wanna bother. So what we're gonna do is come to um, a couple of these other ones really quick. I wanna go check out Deflecto and things like that. And then, um, but there's a new art paint system I'm seeing over here I wanna check out. So let's go see if they'll let us do a live and then um, see what it's about. So let's walk over there really quick. I'm gonna keep you this way, just in case, like I said, I don't wanna be rude and be like, hey, can I record you, you know? So. We'll just kind of check it out. Hi guys, we're live on YouTube, but I wanted to check out and see what your paint were. So is it okay if I you do this? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So they're gonna let us check this out. So we're gonna turn around. Okay. Yes, ma'am. binders in them to stick to different surfaces so one of them is for like sticking to glass one will stick to plastic there's an anti-rust in there so it, when it sticks to metal it doesn't rust the metal okay and they stick to of course wood and paper and all the other porous surfaces so these are really great paints i'm going to paint this little medallion okay so these are very thick Oh, and wow. Let me get in there. You can see how thick it is. Oh, wow. A little bit goes a long way. Okay. And these are Italian mineral-based paints. So these are made in a traditional factory where they are grinding their own pigments. And being mineral-based, it has that lovely matte finish. It dries very fast. Okay. So it's actually already drying a bit down the cracks so you can see very opaque coverage this jar is going to last a long time it covers quite a large area that's what i was thinking that's a pretty big jar so 4.7 ounces mm -hmm. and okay. so then you'll notice there's no smell so there's no voc this is to some really high standards i'm going to dry it a little faster okay And now you can see that nice matte finish. Oh, wow. Yeah, I see on. that. So you guys can, hopefully you guys can see that it's matte now. So we've got a little spot right there that may need to drop. No, it's it's matte. You can really tell the difference. Actually, I'm going to take some of this bronze. This is our bronze paint in the same line. Can you see how thick that is? Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. So this is perfect for mixed media because it has the dimensional uh it's just dimensional, so it's that thick so that you can actually make it look like it's got ridges and get all the brush strokes. Okay. I'm going to get another, another brush, and I'm going to use just a teeny, tiny bit of this right across the surface. Oh, that is awesome. So a little bit goes along. It's just luscious, luscious metallics. Yeah, that is beautiful. And that would last a long time. That's a nice size jar. Yeah. So it's intended for doing larger pieces. Okay. But for your video. And then well, we do like DIY crafts and stuff so like this for us, yeah. Yes. It would be I'm larger. Going to dry that also. And it's already already dry how cool is that yeah that'd be nice to work with i'm loving how it turned to matte like that that's just beautiful and yet the metallic still shows up so i might, might add a little bit more but anyways so gorgeous paints. now where can we purchase these um so we sell them direct uh they're available only in a few stores but we're hoping from this show that we'll have more accounts to buy them awesome so be looking for the tommy art brand for the tommy art okay so that's what we're looking for. That's what you're looking for. Okay, sounds good. We appreciate it. Right. Thank you so much. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Okay, 
So let's look at I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. We put that in there. Now you have a business card at all with your or a sheet? There you go. With your thank you so much. Yep. Thank you. Okay, so can you slide those down in the yep. Okay. So we're gonna get some more information on that so we can check that out. So hopefully we need some more people to pick that up. Now this is another brand right here that I've talked to them earlier and they're gonna send us some information. This is another vinyl brand. So this brand right here, he told me they started in the automotive industry. So you can see these huge rolls. They're the ones that did like the pinstripes on the vehicles and stuff. So uh, they said, I think they said five years ago, don't quote me on this, they started coming in too. So now they're coming into our world. So look at all this vinyl. These are just the different colors. They cut them out in butterflies. Um, they said they are, um, it was funny, he said his gloss didn't make the cut, but everybody didn't think it was pretty enough and I'm like we love gloss but look at how pretty this is so he's gonna get us the information and send that to us so we can check him out it's style tech craft but this is another vinyl brand like I said he's gonna be hopefully sending us something pretty soon to check that out so okay. awesome well I'm gonna get to Fiskars here in just a little bit so I wanted to take you guys over to Deflecto I've talked to them earlier until I was gonna be coming in so like I said it's gonna be shaky a little bit so let's try to get in here and see. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and kind of step in. So you guys can see, I don't know if you guys have already known this, but this is something I'm fixing to be getting into with Deflecto, but they have um, these pieces right here. This I'll show you in just a second. So you can put these on your wall and then these will just slide right on. So if you're already a Deflecto uh, fan, you'll be able to put these on. And which one of you guys may, if you want to help me walk around. I would love to help okay, you Okay, awesome. Around. So we're live on YouTube. Okay, cool. Okay. Hi everybody. And we're gonna, sh you want to show everybody what's new? Okay, sounds, sounds good. good. Okay, so why he's gonna we, help us. Over here? Okay. So, probably all of you know about the patty. It's like our best product. But um, what's great about this is that you can get to any level just by unhooking the latches and getting down to the next, next level. Each of the canisters comes out and can hook on a little aluminum bar that we hang on the wall. And there's three different sizes, small, a medium, and a large. And all you do is when you get done, snap that up. Now, Look how cool that is. Together. Well, look at how rooms. cool that is. Okay, um, we'll come on over here. So, uh, I can see our, really quick. Okay. These uh, all hook together with a little black clip that you can hook each one together so you can build your, whatever assortment, whatever space that you have available. Um, there's a two drawer, an X pattern, an open cube and a four drawer. So okay. four different, different styles. Along that same line is the uh, three drawer organizer. It's perfect for washi tape. The washi tape just fits in with it, it, each, of the, each of the dividers. And you can hold up to 150 rolls of washi tape. Amazing. In one little three drawer organizer and it organizes all of them. And you can still see, see all of them in there. That's Awesome Everybody's saying, I need that, I need that. All right, good, <laughs> good. Um, along with the caddy, we have some uh, accessory trays. So this one goes into the large bin. And so you can store stuff underneath it, but you can store all your little things uh, up, up top. The nice thing about it is once you close that lid, it mirrors the little dividers in there so that if I you know, get it jostled around, all those things are staying in the um, little bit area that they belong in. So. This is deflective. Okay. Um, also, along with the, on the caddy, is our ribbon dispenser. So you I take love this. all of these, you put the ribbon outside on each one. If you want to cut some ribbon, all you do is pull, cut, and you're, you're ready to go. And it keeps them all nice and organized. They don't all unravel in your box like, you, like you're normally you know, probably storing them. So that's awesome. I love that. Um, your desks also need um, accessorizing, and you can't just have like a regular desk tray. You have to have something a little bit, of, a little yeah. bit of glamour to it. So we came out with what we call desk clarity. It's a, a clear set of desk accessories with uh, a little bit of a pattern on. Work hard, stay humble, and uh, so we've got about what, six different um, accessory um, products for your for your desk to organize that as well. Okay, that's okay. awesome. We come on over here. These are our newest products. 
These are my most so favorite. For the, for the painters out there, we have what we call our paint saver. Paint saver, it's just got multi compartments for putting your paints in, mixing areas, and then also a, a mixing tray so that you can um, you know, put your palette there. It has a silicone gasket in the top so that when you do close it, excuse me, um, it, it's airtight and it will keep your paints um, from drying out. And then also, this mixing tray duels as a, um, a holder for your paint brushes. So you put your paint brushes in here, you put it upside down in there, and it contains your paint brushes so that you, it, even when you have it closed, the paint brushes are concealed and don't get dirty with your, with your paints. So that, that's a nice little I love that. problem solver. And then the, our uh, painter's companion for cleaning your brushes. Uh, you've got three different wells. So you've got your dirtiest water, your kind of dirty water, your cleaner water, and then your um, your blotter to be able to dab it. So take the most of the paint off in your dirty water, clean a little bit more in the semi-clean water, and then once you get to the clean water, you're just getting the, the last remnants out. Put a little sponge in here to um, dab it out, and then we have a little um, cut out there so that the water will then run into there so you, you're not getting this all gummed up and, and such. But the nice thing about this too is then your paint brushes fit across these little ridges in the, in the handle so that it makes sure that your paint brushes are organized while you're painting and you can um, be efficient. With it, right? I'm most excited about that. That is like super genius. All right, great. Um, these are some just general totes that we have. Uh, this particular one has latches on both sides to, to hold it in place. So it carries like that, but on the top it has a section um, with different compartments for different things as far as the sizes. On the top of it it also has, it's a little hard to see on your video probably, but we've etched a ruler in the top of this so that you don't have to get a ruler out to measure things as you're, as you're doing your craft. That's awesome. And then down in the bottom we have another little dividing, divided tray and then the well is nice and deep to store all your tools and things that you want to have in there. So, um, great for mobility, uh, you know, taking things on the go. And they also, on the bottom of this, you'll see we have the indentations here. Those marry up with the one above it so that you can stack these um, okay. um, quite tall to save space. Awesome. One of the things that Deflector does with, or the four things that we try to do with all of our storage products is we try to make sure that they um, are space conservative, so they're either stack or hang on the wall, get them off of your workspace. We try to make sure that they're easy to access so that things, you can get your hands into them easily. You can take them from one place to another and use them on your workspace. We also want to make sure that they're as clear as possible. Most of them are clear so you can see if you're storing, make sure you know where things are and don't lose things. And then lastly, we, we like to have our products be mobile, okay? so. Um, another one, this is a, uh, has, again, top for small things with, with clear um, vision to what, what they are. Two smaller um, wells in the back for maybe beads or buttons or embellishments. Uh, then when you open it up, kind of a tackle box design. Opens up into three trays and a bottom well for you to keep all of your um, different ex painting accessories or, or tools or whatever. I love that. That'd be great for that new Fisker stuff to put your hammers and all of that kind of stuff in there That'd for us girls. Yeah, perfect. Yep. And then a smaller, um, more value-oriented uh, product. Uh, again, it's got a tray on the inside and then a, a well in the bottom for you to um, keep that. I love so that these, one too. These here aren't available on, on the market right now. We're probably 120 days out before those will be out on the okay. market. But these are all brand new. Okay, so 120 right. days. Oh, and we've got uh, our 12 by 12 paper storage trays. Uh, they're stacking, so you can stack these up. And um, then if you're also keeping other things in here, you can slide them to get access to the things behind and slide them back. I'm excited about that. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. The one product that we don't have here that is very similar to this is the three-floor organizer that had the washi tape in it. We have one that's bigger, that's um, 12 by 12 paper. Again, for three drawer, the paper inside of it keeps it nice and clean, no dust. And then at the bottom of each drawer, you have a hole you put your finger up through. So you can push the paper up and take the paper out without bending any of the corners. Oh, awesome. It protects it and makes sure that you can access it quickly and easily. That's nice. Okay. Awesome. Tomorrow morning at 7 30 for members. I think we've got a pin holder. He's going to try to get it first. We got a pin holder.
here in the marker accordion. We just had a challenge in the, in the um, booth to see who could put these things together the fastest and put, put the markers in. The nice thing about this one is it holds up to 80 markers. I can get it open here. Let me put it up here. And I think they moved if you want to take it back to its okay. area. It holds up to 80 markers. Okay. And I will go back over here. Make it a little bit easier for you. And then the nice thing that we've got is that now you can span this out. So it's not this working, cool. I have all my markers really easy to access again. I absolutely it's, it's all love about it. Efficiency and, and knowing where your markers are. And, um, and when you're ready to take them to a prop or something, you put it back open. Or close, excuse me. Pop the lid on. And you're ready to go. I so love that. Whole, whole collection of markers. Okay, again. Uh, one will stack on top of the other, and this can be stored both horizontally and vertically in case your markers need to be stored horizontal. And we have little indents here, so another one will stack on top of that as well, and, and okay, cool. you can stack those up. Um, we did get a question on, what's the price point going to be on one of these? On one of these, uh, it's going to be around $34.99. Okay, $34.99. Okay. Um, for smaller marker storage, but expandable. We have our, our, our small marker storage product. This also fits in the caddy. Um, obviously, you have to put it in the top row because it um, extends out. But these also can be built so that if you want to add them together, now you've got two, you've got three. You can store these, again, horizontally or vertically, and you can build that out as big as you want, and each one of them connects to the, the next. That's awesome. Okay. Um, what am I missing? The large um, tilt pins down here. These are just um, tilt pins that uh, they come out. They're easy to access again. Um, we have four different sizes. This is the largest. Five drawers. The medium. We have a four drawer. Our, me, we have a six drawer, and we have a uh, nine drawer for small small beads and embellishments as well. Okay. Okay, and then this one, very similar to the marker uh, product. This is a, a single tilt bin, but again, we have the dovetails on the side so that you can build out as many as you want. We found out a lot of crafters couldn't have the big um, tilt bin products because they didn't have enough space, but having singles that they can build out to as much space as they want. And these also hang on the wall with a aluminum bar that, um, right here. The innovation thing is where I, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so now you can hang your stuff wall. on that. So you can store them someplace when you're ready to use them. Go ahead and put it on the wall. Use what you need and then put them away. Or you can just hang a whole wall worth of them. I love that. Because, see, I have those and I have them, like, stacked together. But that's what I was telling him when I came in earlier. I want to get the uh, the bars. That's pretty cool. Right. And, and the carousel is also a very popular one. This one has got two different size um, containers. Our large container, which is... Um, and then our single container, which is half the size of the large. And they um, have a carousel underneath so that you can spin it around, get to what you want. You can also stack them on top of each other, but you can't access the one below. When, when you do that, you have to actually um, take the whole thing off, off okay. to be able to access it. Okay. 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 I think that's pretty much all of the products that we have here in the booth. I would really appreciate you guys and then all your support for Deflecto. We really enjoyed our our time and expanding our role here in the craft industry and i appreciate you coming into the booth we appreciate you creating it for us okay. so thank you so much okay keep on giving us feedback we want to we want to make more we will thank okay. you so much we appreciate yeah. it okay we we'll have see you two winners here our two winners okay so i wanted to let me walk over here really quickly I, got good I know, isn't it amazing? So that's what I'm thinking about too. But what he was showing you, like where you could stack these, so you can stack them however you want to for your pins. And then, like you've seen where I have these stacked at the in my background. So those are those. And then you've seen how like that, that uh, the wall unit and stuff, the whole caddies. The wall unit, let me call it over here really quickly. So the wall unit will come in like this, like these bags like this. And they have magnet sheets now too. So they have these magnet sheets, but like this, for the wall unit. But it's like this, where so you could stack. So like this right here, they have the, the metal bars already connected. Just like that. Yay! We got the winners over there. Yay! All right.
So what we're going to do now is just keep on going. So I want to go back to Fiskars and see if they are open. So you guys can see what tools you guys are going to need to store in that deflecto. I love deflecto, but that's where I'm really thinking of going um, this year because I'm fixing me redoing. I'm going to be talking about it here pretty quickly. But um, I've been looking at storage. I'm really excited about the deflecto. But 120 days out is what we're on that. Um, let's see. Hello, everyone. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Um, I was trying to let him talk, so it was kind of hard. So I've seen some questions come up, but I missed them. So let's see here. I'm trying to see if they're still super busy. I think we're opened enough to play around at the Fisker. So let me go show you really quick, and then we'll get set up to do so you guys can see. Okay, so we're at Fisker's. I'm going to come over here and show you guys. All right. You can see where they've been messing with some of this. All right. So, now with the Fiskers, they're making it more easy for us to play with all this wood. So, they've got this here. Why my brain's not even a leveler? How cool is that? Don't have to ask the hubby for that no more. The hammer. Um, we've got, this is going to be to hold um, your nail still so you don't hurt yourself. Will you hand me that, Maria? Look, you guys have been breaking their stuff. I bet they have it held on with a glue doll. No, they had adhesive. They're going to get me here in a minute. Okay, so that's to hold the nail. They have um, screwdrivers. Let's see. They have like this saw. Is this not really cool? They've got like a really cool saw. Um, this is their staple gun. This is going to be their drill. Isn't this really cool? So it's going to be that handheld drill. I'm trying to get out of my shadow most really quick. Hopefully I can play with this. So it's going to like this. You can, and then you're just going to be able to turn this. It's going to have the different drill bits. And let's see, we're fixing to play with the scissors. These are the scissors. So right here. And we'll play with them over there just a second. Let's see, snow day, so this is great. Oh, awesome. And then you can see some of like there. There you go. Now, what was it saying? She's gonna tell me about something, I guess. That we do have to go to the hallway. Everyone has to go to the hallway. Everybody has to go to the hallway? Let's we'll cut back in. Okay, cool and scissors. The, let's the, come back. Okay, she was telling me about the drawing. Um, this paper trimmer here, I was playing with it earlier. They were super sweet. I have to send a huge shout out to Fiskars this morning because I went ahead and printed off my business cards last night at the hotel because everybody kept asking and I was not prepared. And I came to Fiskars this morning and they let me use their um, paper trimmer. Was that not cool of them? So they let me use their table. So huge shout out to them. All right, let's see if they'll let us demo really quick what we did earlier with the keychain. So you guys can kind of see how some of this kind of works. So let's see. Yes, they said it's already at Joann's. So when I get home, I'm going to go check this out because I'm pretty pumped about it. So let's get over here. Hi, I am live on YouTube. Is that okay? I asked earlier. If Okay, so we want to kind of demo, if I can, we can demo this for them. Okay, awesome. We're ready. Yes, do you mind? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you making the name or are you making the keychain? Alright, well let's, let's put an appropriate amount of tools in front of you. Okay. Let's check out this extra space here. I am looking forward to seeing Michelle. Welcome. We're here at Creative Nation. I was yeah. giving a shout out this morning because you guys let me use your paper trimmer to do my business cards Absolutely. this morning. Yes. So the best trimmer you can buy. That's right. The precision trimmer. So we stopped by. You guys are gonna have to check that out. We loved it this morning. Yes. Okay, so, so um, what we're doing today, and this week at Creativation is launching a whole new um, set of tools for uh, the DIY enthusiast. So we know that a lot of you um, have consumables around the house, you want to make a stool, you want to reupholster a piece of furniture, um, you want to make a jewelry holder or a leather key ring, and you have the materials but you don't have the tools. So you either find something that's in your house, or you go to a home center and find something that's way too heavy for what you need. So what we've done is we've created a set of tools that bridges that gap. Um, and we have just a few of them down here, um, but we have a 12 ounce hammer that you, you can use uh, light enough for nail and string art or durable enough to make a shelf or a stool or a bench or whatever you need. Um, we have scissors that cut through a variety of materials the serrated edge, edge helps to grip um, uh, leather and slippery materials so you can get a, a nice good cut. And then we have, here's the, here we go, here's the snip. This is my favorite. This cuts through metal. So 
I'm going to do a quick demo before we do anything else. So this is the standard metal that you would find at a, a craft store that you, you would use to um, put around a can for a candle votive or things like that. And usually you need a tough tool to cut through this, but ours, because they're so simple to use and they're right sized for your hand, you can simply cut right through. Like butter. That's what everybody says. <laughs> like butter. Way, Somebody said you're getting them nervous about passing your finger on the scissors. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Maybe you got. Maybe they thought. Maybe when you had it shut, they thought you were going over the blade. Oh, got it, got it. So, oh, you know what's probably yes. Yeah, so here it is. So, so I'm cutting through metal. I don't know if you want to feel it to, yep. to confirm what it is. It's metal. Are you doing this? Like, what's your it's like a magic. Yeah. Cake, right? Yep. Um, and then these. So I'm going to go back to these. Okay. These are great for so heavy upholstery you fabrics, grunge board, cork. Um, we have a variety of samples of leather here that we've been using for keychains. And it's simply, like, I'm not kidding when I say it cuts like butter. It cuts through everything. Um, there's a lot of technology behind the scissors. I don't have to go through it at all. But um, you just know that there is not a lot of cut force when you use this with thick materials. Okay. So that's really what you I play with them earlier and I'm loving them. Those are a dream. They are a yep, dream. Yep, game changer. Okay, so do you want me to make a, or do you want me just to show you what we've done? Yes, you want to show, yep, you could just show. Yes, we can do, here's a couple that we've done here. So this is, um, we use uh, this scissor to cut the leather straps, and then we use the hammer for the rivets. So, how, yeah, so how many? So they she's created these keychains with the scissors and the hammer. Um, so you'll be able to do all this stuff on your own. Yep, exactly. So I'm using the small one. Do you have anything else? No, I think that's it. No, nope. I think, that's it. Nope. I think okay. that's it. And I showed them everything on the wall. So we appreciate it. Right. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Okay. So what do you guys think about the new tools? Are we excited to have our own stuff and not be having to go like dig through the, our tool shed? Like I'm really excited about it. But me and Miranda, we made a keychain. I'll show you later. Um, I used the metal and I actually went right through it with the rivets and stuff like that. <laughs> So it was pretty cool. Now let me see. I want to show you guys. I'm trying to see what else I want to show you guys really quick. Hopefully I don't make you sick. But there's just little boots like this. Let's line up. Let's see. Kaiser Crafts. Let's see what they've got. I'll just kind of come in and let you guys see. We've got some new sprays by Kaiser Crafts. Look at these ink pads. These are really cool. Love it. Okay. Need those scissors for sure. I'm telling you, I'm for sure getting them. They told me, because I asked them, I was like, where can I get those? They said I could get them at, um, at uh, Joann's right now. And then I think Amazon in the next week or so, but they said on Fiskers.com as well. So we, they are available right now in certain stores. And if you don't have a Joann's near you, you can have it shipped in, because that's how I am. I don't have one close by. I was just trying to peek in and see what we had. Okay, so ignore my camera shaking as we walk through those. Okay. So Zyron, I showed you guys that yesterday. If you guys want to see that, I'll have you guys. I'll kind of get a little close up, but I do have a video already on that. So there is the big X and the laminator. Blue dots we played there this morning. So I'll kind of peek in and show you. They had some like make and takes and stuff. Let me see. I'll show you their blue runners that we have. We played with them earlier. And I'll show you guys whenever we get back. They've got the glue dots. And then, let's see, there was another one. I think it may be on this table. But look at how cute their booth is. Sorry. We're live on YouTube. Okay. So, we played with these two earlier. So, we made some tags and stuff. With whoop, their glue dots. And then their new glue runner tape. So, it's awesome. So, we played with those. We made little tags like that. Super cute. Uh, how about storage? We remember keepers. I did deflect over first. You have to come back and watch that. We remember keepers. We're going over there in just a second. I almost forgot about me. Remember keepers, Moran. We need to go back that way. So go back around. So they're doing a little class, and I'm not going to turn it that way because since that's a class they paid for. All right, we got Nouveau over here. If we want to peek at that as well, let's go to Nouveau. And then we'll walk down to uh, We Remember Keepers again so you guys can kind of check it. I did do a video on it yesterday if you want to check it out. But we'll go down to tonight. Here is Tonic Studios. So we got a little bit of stuff in there as well. Let's check out some of their cool stuff. Look at that cute guard. Love it. And like I said, I'm trying not to get too shaky. 
All right, let's see what Nia's little craft, see if I can't get in there and see what she's creating. <laughs> she's got some, just hanging up. Hey, yes. Just kind of peeking around, see what they Eleven. So these are crystal drops. I'm trying to zoom you guys in so you can kind of see the sheen confetti. Just let you guys kind of check that out. Let me see a mirror card. I'm trying to wait just a little bit until she kind of clears up and then we'll ask her some questions and stuff. So it looks like they're all busy. So maybe we should come back to the new road drops. I'm trying to see. We'll wait for her to kind of clear out. I don't want to kind of, I don't want to intrude. But look at that Nouveau, uh, the storage and stuff. I'm going to zoom around here. I'm zooming you in. Look at this Nouveau storage. Their purse bag. Uh, hello. I am super excited. What is it? The water color place. Drifting. The water? The water, water color place. What water color place? Oh, okay, for the pins. We'll go up there and let you check out the pins, and we'll come back to Nouveau drops here in just a second. Let's go check it out. Let's see. Hopefully, you guys, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. All right, she's going to show us her pins. I know she's here. Are you busy at the moment? No. Well, we are live. We're back. So, yep, I wanted you to see if you could demo them your pins. So, we'll let you uh, just kind of see what she's working on here. Okay. Super cute. Okay, so she was gonna do a demo for us. That's cute. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Uh, I, I figured if you wanted to kind of show them maybe something like this. Okay. If that's okay? Sure, let's see. Okay. You go ahead and take your time. You go ahead and take your time. Okay, so she's gonna work with us here. We came down and played with her earlier. Miranda made a card. <laughs> but look at how cute these are. Super cute. Okay. Okay, so here we are with the water brush. Okay. We take the water brush and you can look directly into take another color. Wipe off there. She is super sweet. They said you look super sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then put some more color here. We are at Creative Asian. Tell them your booth name. I can never say it right, so that's why I'm letting you say it. Yeah, because I want to say secure too. Yeah, so I'm like, am I saying it right? Okay. those colors oh those are awesome and then if you layer them oh. on top of when it dries it looks like that oh wow I love that and then another trick I could show you Oops. that's okay but you can take this jelly pen and I can put some of this down and then I can take my water brush and go into the silver somebody said ah oh, our favorite gel pen people <laughs> That's right. Go into the silver, and now I can mix this. Okay. okay. And you get sort of a silver. Way too cool.
<laughs> You're doing great. Thank you so much. Should put a cherry on top. That is our favorite pin. Yes, they did. That's cute. Somebody asked how the gel pins react with water. Yes, they do. Yes. Now, what, are these the ones that you were this, uh, I want to say souffle. Where are um, they? The ones that we played with earlier? Oh, the souffle? Yeah, no, souffle. Nope. Okay. Souffle. Okay. So these are the watercolors, but see the stardust. I have a chart like this. To the, okay. It shows in on the black and um, clear. Okay. So that's the stardust. And then I also wanted to show you something else. So you can take the metallics and you can put them on the watercolor. Okay. They look like that. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Now, with the other gel pins that we played with this morning, um, can you show them how those work with, when you write on them? And then, or did you guys already put those up? You did. They already put them up. That's okay because I'm gonna get some. Um, I'm gonna zoom them in really quick over here so I can show them really quick. Okay, she's just putting that clear gel pin on there. Yes. I add that to everything. It just tops it off. Yes. True. Yep. That's awesome. I'll kind of bring this up so they can see how cool that looks. I do love how that's like a sherbet. You know, it's super cute. <laughs> I do love that. And that's with the gel pins, and they just react react it with the water. How cool is that? We're gonna all have to try that out for sure. Now, can we take this with us? Of okay. Um, will you sign it for me? Okay, so we can put it on our wall. She's going to sign that for me. And I'm going to show you guys really quick. And zoom y'all in. So I'm sorry about being shaky, But see these pins right here? Those are the ones I want to show you. I'm going to get those when we get back home. Now, you said those are available, right? Yes. It's crystal. Now, someone can help me. Okay. Okay. Those are the Sofle. Hopefully, I don't make you guys uh, super um, dizzy on that, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna bring it back around here. So we are over here, just basically our jelly roll thing. So she's gonna check that out for us. But anyways, let me, let me hand you to Miranda really quick, and I'm gonna talk to them really quick. Hold on. We're live on YouTube now, so I brought it back around so they could check it out. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. So, I'm going to let you come on here. So, she Hello. was hanging out with us earlier here, so uh, we just came back. But we appreciate it. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. <laughs> uh, check them out on YouTube. Now, what is your YouTube? Uh, Sakura of America. Sakura of America. Okay. So, definitely check them out because you guys have new techniques and stuff, right? Or you're showing yeah, the... Yeah. Okay. So, definitely check them out. Thanks. Everybody, whenever I came on, they are like, our favorite Jolly Roll people. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Let's see. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Sakura. I know some. I, Sakura. I feel like I'm saying it wrong all the time. Yeah. Well, in Japan, they say Sakura. Sakura. Sakura? Yeah, Sakura. Okay. So She's going to teach us something new. You say Pigma. Okay. Yeah. She's using a Pigma pin. And then I use Stardust. Okay. Awesome. I love it. I think jelly rolls just the like your pins and the sparkle, they just they make every they finish it off. That is so cool. Awesome. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you.
That's going to go on our wall in our craft room behind her for our YouTube. <laughs> so thank you. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Okay, so let's go check out our next booth. We got all of our stuff, right? We'll bring you guys back around. Whoop. Okay, let's walk down. So when y'all watch this video back later, I'm probably all over the place. It's fine. Let's see. We went to um, Caesar yesterday. Um, we are member keepers. You guys wanted to go back over there. What was there? Something else I was going to chat really quick. No? I was trying to see really quick. I'm going to turn y'all back around so y'all can see where we're walking. So... Hopefully you don't get sick. We're walking back up to the We Are Memory Keepers. We'll see if they're busy. I did a video, like I said yesterday, but I'm going to come back through. Also, hey, do we want to go do the... I know I had a lot of complaints on the volume with um, the pins. So the um, like sublimation pins, do we want to check them out again? If so, let me know. We'll go back over there. Let's see. She may be showing... I think she's going to be showing... I want to show you guys the cup thing. Hold on just a second. I want to show you guys their cup I came over from yesterday. Nope, that's not my, I seen it set in there, but it wasn't. Thank you so much. Okay, so I came yesterday. Okay, wait, you guys wanted to see the, because I don't want to get in their way. I think they're trying to sell some products. So let's, let's see, back to, oh, back to Nuvo. Thank you, Annie. Okay, they're busy over here at, um, we are mirror keepers. I think they're making some sales. We don't want to ever get involved when they're making some sales because we don't want to mess that up. We all need somewhere to buy product, right? So, let's go back down to Nuvo and see if they're busy. Because we haven't done that yet. And I know a lot of you guys love the Nuvo. So, let's go check it out. All right. And then it seems like, okay, but that sublimation. I want to show you guys that again. And then we need to start getting in line. What time? 417. We got to get out in the hallway? It says it's 417. Okay. She says to get the prizes, we got to get back out in the hallway at 5. So, let's see. This is... XTC Crafts. I was just checking this out. I haven't seen them yet. So where was Nuvo? Back this way? Man? I think they were back this way. Let's turn it around. Whoop. This is Webster's Pages. They are my absolute, one of my favorites. And uh, let's see. I'm trying to see if there's anything kind of new. I want to take you guys at some point around to the new stuff too. Just so you guys can see because I feel like they need a huge shout out too. So let's see. Oh, there is a really, really cool product. I almost forgot. You guys have to check it out. Hold on, I'll show you guys just a minute. I'm over here at the Nouveau. Let me see if I can get somebody over here in just a second. Okay, we're at Nouveau. Let's see what we got here. Look at that. Pure Sheen Glitter. We'll kind of wait for somebody over here, so we'll kind of peek at this stuff. Some green. Purples. Got a couple different purples here. Hi. We're just... Yep. We're doing a live, and I was going to see if there was somebody here to do a demo. They're done for the day. Okay. They are done for the day, guys, but we'll just kind of peek around and see what they've got, and then we'll... Maybe tomorrow morning we can catch them. We should have stayed in line. Okay. I'm just peeking and see what they have here. The dream drops. Here's the dream drops, in case you guys are wondering. We'll definitely, hopefully, maybe we can catch them in the morning. show you guys that like these are just some little sequence babe basically in here okay so they're shut down so let's go back to what was the other one I just said Marin? we got one let me see we've got somebody but I don't know if they're recording over here we've got okay do you want hold on we're gonna walk down can I let me see if I can't check her out really quick and then we'll walk down is that okay okay we're going to see it Ranger really quick. Yes. Let's see if we can't peek in and see.
if I meet you. We're live on YouTube. We were just stopping in just to kind of see what was new, so we were just peeking in. Thank you so much. We truly appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. Awesome. Okay, that was awesome to see her. Who was excited for that? Okay, so we still even we still got to see the new little stuff. Okay, so Miranda needs to go to the bathroom. I think that's pretty much it for today. We've got to go stand in line. Um, they're going to be doing some drawing stuff, but I'll kind of walk you guys back this way as we're going that way. So that way you guys can kind of see um, what's kind of out here. We'll kind of turn a little bit. Hopefully I don't make you guys sick. Let's see, Stony Drops, what was it for? What was that? Um, it was just like, um, what would you call it? I'm trying to think of like the drops that we have already at home, but um, basically like you would add them to your product as, um, hold on, who is it? Okay, you wanna go that way? Okay, I'm trying to think of why I cannot think of the drops, you know what I'm talking about. Um, basically you're adding dimension and stuff to your product, if that makes sense. Virtual craft show, yes. So she's gonna go to the bathroom while she goes. We'll come in and peek over here and see what we have going on. Okay, Ren, you gonna take that with you? We'll just be right here. Okay, sorry guys, we were with us. You're kind of like one of our friends. Okay, new stores. Yes, there is some new stuff. Um, I haven't been on that side. We went and checked them out a little bit yesterday, um, but. Um, 
Let me see. There was something over here. I don't want to leave Miranda. This is the Caesar booth. We were here yesterday. I don't know if I had you guys on the live at the Caesar booth. You can see their vinyl and stuff. I was talking about the chalkboard. Look at how they use these super tiny t-shirts to iron on. And they got these little bags. But it's super cool that they put the iron on these shirts. Let me show you over here really quick. You are super welcome. Hopefully it's not too shaky, guys. I know it's kind of a mess. But look at all these shirts here. Now this is that new vinyl. I think it's like PPV. That thick one. I haven't got to try it on the channel yet. Look at She gave us some samples to take so we can try it out. It's the same design. But it's super thick. So this will be great for like hats and stuff. I'm hoping you guys can get this. Let me kind of bring it up to see how thick this vinyl is. Because I could not tell online and I haven't purchased it yet. But it's super thick. Let's see. I'm trying to see really quick. Some of you guys can kind of see how thick it is. It's super, super thick. I may have to ask her here in a second. See if she can show us a sample. I already dropped it off at the... Um, hopefully maybe if I do this a little bit. Okay. Anyways, and then they had several. So you can see that um, that eraser one, which they gave us some samples to try out. We're going to do that whenever I get back home. But you see how that you can draw on that now and then wash it. So now they have chalkboard HTV. Is that not cool? Super cool. But look at that. That's just their vinyl on top of. But they gave us some little booklets so we can see um, some of. And they're using the red. Uh, look at how cute their little shirt I want to know where they got these shirts. It kind of reminds me of like the Build-A-Bear or something. So it's pretty cool. But let's see. I was wondering to see who this was. Because that was super cute. I'm trying to see if you guys can kind of see down there a little bit. Um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Let me bring it back around to myself really quickly. While we're at the Caesar booth. Make it since we use so much Caesar. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I'll let you guys see my Caesar booth. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up and then uh, go stand in line and maybe cross our fingers that we win some stuff. Maybe we can do a giveaway when we, because we're already going to do a giveaway, but maybe we can throw some more of this stuff in there. American Doll shirt. Yeah, American Doll shirt size. Let's see. Thank you. Because I'm thinking it'd be perfect for samples to test out on those little tiny shirts. But that's what they look like to build a bear. But yeah, like American Girl, I bet that's what they are. I bet you that's exactly what they are. Okay, so there is Miranda. She found us. Okay, so we're going to go get in line. So we will 